Hi, welcome! If it's the first, second, or a thousand visit, welcome! I'm Nelly, and today we're drawing a cornflower bullet. Bullet. I don't know how it's pronounced. Anyway, so I'm participating in Fearfall's Fungiary Month, and I'm roughly sketching out the design here. I was thinking about how it's a different color when cut in half, and I knew I wanted to make a ghost mushroom. When the rough is finished, I go back and redraw the lines I think looks the best. Uh, when I was at Van der Museet, they had this gorgeous Edwardian dress on display, so I used that as an inspiration for the clothing here. It had so many intricate details, yet it was so stylish and clean. I loved it. I wanted her to have a trail, a dirty one from walking around. Uh, here I am starting inking the sketch. I didn't want it to be a black line art, so I went, went for a greyish one. All to make it look a bit more spooky. Ooh. As for as all artists, I have quite a bad hand day, meaning I can't draw hands at all. Ah! Usually, I find it to be pretty easy, but not today. Also, I had to reference what a cut-in-half human looks like. Sorry about the image popping up sometimes. I didn't want it to be particularly anatomy correct, just something to go on. Oh, and this grey green stuff here. I see artists do that all the time, so I wanted to try out and see what that's all about. I still don't know what's, what it's about. Cleaning the hair, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Might be easier to just use the wand, but uh, eh. Adding some shading here. I knew I wanted it to be ghost-like, so I thought I'd set the brush opacity to 30%, that way the background colour shines through, which is kind of cool. Like I said earlier, the mushroom is this nice blue colour when cut in half, so I thought it should be too. Weird, right? The cap is a light brown colour and with a texture to it as well. I tried to mimic it, but I'm not quite sure if I succeeded. That's the problem with working on things. It's easy to notice the details and miss the whole picture. Now I'm adding uh, shading to the hair and you have no idea the struggle to make it not as dark as I usually want it. Cleaning! Erasing! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Uh, anyway, uh, I'm starting to shade the dress now. It took me ages to make it feel right. Not look right, but feel right. I don't know, it took me forever. I re erased, I redid, I erased and stuff. And you know, people go with a light source and everything. I don't. Which makes uh, art hard. Very, very hard. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, this dress had some quite intricate details. But I'm too lazy to draw all that, so I just drop some lines in the sh shading to create some kind of texture to a flat shading. The bottom of the dress is going to be dirty. Dirtier than that, but maybe cleaner than the inside of a public toilet. Maybe. Once again, I'm just erasing and drawing lines to make it look more interesting. What's not is the amount of time it took me to actually do that. Yep, not fun at all. Okay, 
a little fun, was it? By the way, if you hear some screaming in the background, and most likely it's my hubby changing diapers on the baby. She does not like that at all. She doesn't enjoy lying down. <laughs> uh, when she becomes old enough though, she'll change her heart. Sleep is amazing. Background time! I wanted something simple, so I just picked some brushes from Clip Studio Paint and had a go at it. And you'll see here, uh, I actually do enjoy the results quite a lot. I uh, made her a little bit more transparent. Uh, and here's the finished result. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching!